Greetings, Captain. I'm Jules, and I'm happy to present you the first update for World of Warships in 2023. The update brings American hybrid battleships to early access, Lunar New Year celebrations, Japanese light cruisers available to all players, and the return of the airship escort. Following a short intro, I'll tell you about these and other new things coming out in Update 12.0. Experienced captains know that we celebrate Lunar New Year in every January update of World of Warships, and that tradition continues with our first update of this new year. We've prepared the Age of Sa Zhenbing theme collection specially for the occasion. It reveals the biography of the famous admiral it's named after, as well as China's naval history in the Age of Ironclads and Steam. The reward for completing the collection is unique Pan-Asian commander Sa Zhenbing. In our game, this renowned naval commander features both enhanced skills and talents. But what are they exactly? You can find that information on our website in a special article dedicated to Lunar New Year in World of Warships. The first ships to enter early access this year are some incredible American hybrids. Welcome battleships Nebraska, Delaware, and Louisiana. The newcomers to the game carry 406 mm guns, and those guns have a long firing range, moderate firing rate, and deal decent damage. As you might have guessed, Nebraska, Delaware, and Louisiana are hybrid ships not due to their guns, but thanks to their own board bomber squadrons. The air group comprises a large number of airplanes capable of delivering plenty of problems to enemies thanks to the high explosive bombs they carry on board. While the American hybrid ships have just arrived in early access, Japanese light cruisers will become available for everyone to research in Update 12.0. Our new arrivals from the land of the rising sun prefer medium to long-range skirmishes. The ships have a large number of guns, long-range torpedoes, and good concealment. However, at the same time, they set high requirements to your skills for playing light cruisers. But that just means that victories achieved playing the new ships mean twice as much. These Japanese light cruisers will show what you are really worth in battle. Update 12.0 will see the return of the Airship Escort Temporary Battle Mode. The in-game event will see the opposing teams each escorting an indestructible airship along a specified route. The objective of each team is to be the first to lead your airship to the destination point or destroy the entire enemy team. Both teams can influence the speed of both airships. A special area surrounds each airship. Your airship will move faster if allied ships are within its area. But if at least one enemy ship enters the area, your airship will slow down. We've also introduced a series of changes to the airship movement mechanics. Let me add that players will need to escort the airships in teams of 12, playing Tier 8 through 10 ships. The first season of Ranked Battles is also among the events featured in Update 12.0. The new Ranked Battles utilize a 6 versus 6 format. Depending on the specific league, battles will be fought at the helms of Tier 6, 8, 9, and 10 ships. You can expect some changes to the new season as well. In case of a defeat, only one player who earned the most XP on their team will preserve a star. This rule is now in effect in all three leagues. You can find detailed information on the rules of the new Ranked Battle season and other new features of Update 12.0 in a special article on our website. My name's Jules, and I wish you great victories in 2023 and a wonderful mood, Captain.